This desk uh, was actually part of the furniture, the original furniture, that the team of uh, Henry Hornbossel, uh, the architect who designed the Grant Building, mm -hmm. Rodef Shalom, Soldiers and Sailors, and this building, uh, made as part of the uh, mayor's suite. And the person sitting behind that mahogany desk will change come November, but the rich history found inside the mayor's office will remain. Only on KDKA, Mayor Bill Peduto shows our Megan Schiller what makes the place he's called home for eight years so very special. Nestled on the fifth floor of the city county building sits an office with a view. If you look down the view of Grand Street, you see the architecture that is just absolutely incredible. Mayor Bill Peduto moved in eight years ago, ready for a fresh start. When I came in, this was all carpeted and this room was all brown. Peduto exposed the intricate hardwood. They look like leopards. Yeah. yeah, that is a skill. You actually tilt the saw, and so when it hits the wood, it hits it in a certain way. And he gave new life to this massive desk. This desk is the same desk that every mayor since 1917 has sat at. He's leaving it in better shape, revealing the seal of William Pitt's family crest. A friend of mine, Tom Cianelli, who's a professional at restoring furniture, took it and for free uh, restored it for the next 100 years. The entire room's blanketed in art, some with price tags. And all of this art is for sale. Literally has a price, $30.99. Yep. Uh, we've sold five pieces and one carpet. The portraits stay, even if they're not exactly accurate. This was the painting that was here of William Pitt, and you can see there's a tear in it. So I sent it to the Carnegie Museum to see if they could repair it. And two things that they explained to me, number one, it's not really worth that much, you know, to really go through the full restoration. And number two, you do realize that's the wrong William Pitt. This is William Pitt's son, AKA not the William Pitt Pittsburgh's named after. So for 50 years, we've had the wrong William Pitt in the mayor's office. And the conference room always had a hidden doorway disguised by the intricate board and batten. The secret door that you didn't see? <gasps> and how many times you've been in here? Yeah, what is that? It's like Scooby-Doo. Where does this go? Dan Gelman's office? A direct route to city council. And if the mayor wants to avoid those people. You have to get a key for it. This secret door has been utilized as an escape route. In terms of emergencies or yeah. when someone's here you don't like? Well, both. Eat both. <laughs> what? Little Batman green escape route. A spiral staircase escape down to the public safety director's office. All right, if you ever do that to me, now I'll know. Sure, you'll not, I'll know it's you like, went down the His secret. car is still yeah. out there. Where is he? <laughs> The importance of this office isn't lost on him. He's reminded of the tough times. Officer Calvin Hall from his family, a remembrance of those we lost on October 27th and the first Jerry Rabinowitz Award that went to the city. And remembers the kindness extended to him by fellow Pittsburghers and the world. Everything from somebody mailed me this, uh, from my time on Undercover Boss, my gingerbread mare cookie, the syrup I won when the Penguins beat the Ottawa Senators. All this time, Peduto kept his favorite Pittsburgh mayor close by, Mayor David Lawrence. So yeah, why is he your favorite? Because that was the city he inherited. That is the city he left, right out my window. And Peduto hopes to leave office with Pittsburgh a better city than the one he inherited as well. As for what's next, he says he doesn't plan to stay in politics, but he hopes to one day teach and do a little traveling. Reporting downtown, Megan Schiller, KDK News.